Happy Friday! Welcome to today's live stream. For those of you who are new, my name is TJ and I stream UK domestic flights every Wednesday and Friday at 1pm UTC. But today we're doing something different. We are playing a Sega Airline Pilots arcade game flying a Boeing 777 around Japan. It's a different experience to X-Plane. But I hope you enjoy. Right, shall we see if we can get this working? There we go. Airline pilots. Airline pilots. <laughs> okay, just make sure. Yeah, there we go. This is all good. Lovely. So we'll put some coins in. So this was released in the 90s. Uh, in the 90s by Sega. It was in the arcades as sort of a big, a big three monitor cabinet with a sort of full flight controls. You had a yoke, you had some rudder pedals, you had some little flap switches, uh, and it was also released in a single monitor version, which we are playing today on the uh, on the Sega Naomi emulator on the PC. We're playing it in the original. Uh, sort of standard definition 640 by 480 resolution and I love the graphics on it um, even for the time even for the 90s these were these were fairly fairly impressive graphics I also love that in the Japanese version the original which this is um, it had proper sort of Japan Airlines sponsorship as well so it's a very good game I remember playing this in the Trocadero in London as a kid and I was no good at it uh, whatsoever. So, got some instructions here. Essentially, the controls you have are your throttles, you have your uh, flap control, you've got your rudder, and, and your yoke, uh, as well as the landing gear button. So, instead of watching somebody else do it, shall we start? Okay, we're going to go for training mode. Go manual system. Okay, so flap switch, gear switch, and throttles all the way back. All right, here we go. Take off. All right, got to get seventy points to progress here. So let's go. What did they say the speed was? 150 knots or something? Let's find out. Takeoff speed is 150 knots. Happy days. Okay, so. It's kind of got um, sort of ATC voices on it as well. <laughs> they are really not realistic. Rotate. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, sorry. Fine, fine. I'll put my gear up later. There we go. Have it. <laughs> Okay, so you've got to follow this marker. It's really weird, the controls. It's got like, uh, the 777 doesn't have Airbus style uh, fly-by-wire. Uh, in this arcade game, it sort of feels like a very artificial, sort of video gamey uh, fly-by-wire system. And there we go. All right, training finished. Did we pass? Did we manage to take off? Hey, 87. I'll take it. Considering I put my gear up too early, it's all good. We've qualified. Okay. So, uh, flap. Lever is that one. Got to move the throttles back a little bit. Sort of roughly there. Looks good. Okay, cool. One. Okay, next challenge. Got to turn the plane. I can't believe how bad I was when I played this. It's so easy. <laughs> compared to compared to X Plane, this is the easiest easiest thing ever. Okay, what we've got to do, maintain 170 knots. Cool. Pretty sure we can do that. Just move those throttles up and down. It's kind of cool. You get your, you still get your sort of nav display, your primary flight display that you get in the Sims, and uh, you also got your engine power just down there. 
in the bottom right corner. This is a great little representation of uh, Tokyo in the 90s as well. If only like Microsoft Flight Simulator had graphics like this at the time, it would have been a lot better. In fact, this probably has better physics than, than Flight Simulator does today. There we go. All right, it's a nice, uh, nice easy turns here. It even gives you little guides. Just gotta fly through the little guides. I would love uh, like a full turn <laughs> right, Japan. <laughs> I would love like a, a fuller version of this where you can fly two places. That would have been amazing. But then you'd be playing in the arcade for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and nobody else would get a go. So maybe not. Eh? Slow down a little bit, but it's all good. And uh, start going faster. There we go. Speed on this is really weird, like it just rises and falls and rises and falls depending uh, like it's really dramatic the inputs you make I mean I'm doing 180 knots now I move the throttle about a millimeter there we go if I pull the throttles back it will just fall uh, it will fall off fairly quickly there we go come back finish okay how do we do can we be an airline pilot Hey, 81, 81 is fine. It's all good. Okay. Next training, guys. Flaps are up, gear are up. Throttles are roughly in the right place. You can use your, uh, you can use your flight sim throttles and joystick and stuff for it, which is quite cool. For some reason, the two don't align. But whatever, doesn't really make a difference. Okay, let's land. All right, 70 points we've got to get here. Roger, clear to land, runway 34 left. 150 knots we want here, guys. Let's do it. We can do this. We can land this plane. We can definitely do this. Okay, pop those throttles up a tiny bit. There we go. Cool. It will tell me when to put the gear down. It's all good. See how quickly it speeds up. Keep bringing the throttles back. 160. Flap switch down. There we go. Gotta get to 140 here. Probably won't be too hard. 50. There we go. 140. So easy. So stable. Feels like flying an Airbus. 140, 140 knots. Come on, plane. There we go. You're done. Like the throttles bear no relation to how fast the plane actually goes. None at all. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, what's our landing speed here? I think it's like 130. I think it wants to slow down to about 130 here. Glide slope. Yeah, there we go. 130. Okay. So what it wants is like three degrees of nose up, I think. There we go, I'll do. Yeah. 10? 10. Hey. Look at this landing, guys. Beautiful. Yeah. If only I could get landings like that in the simulator. Absolutely amazing. There we go. How do we do here? All right. I thought it was better than that. I thought it was much better than that. But whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Well, throttles back, flaps up, gear up. Cool. There we go. Lovely. 
I want this throttle up because this is uh, this is for engine failure uh, exercise. Training for engine trouble. Engine oh no! Trouble will be assumed, and the plane will fly with only one engine. Operate the rudder pedal to keep the airplane flying straight. Pretty complex for uh, for an arcade game. Definitely got my quid's worth here. Okay, we'll leave these uh, we'll leave these troubles up here. There we are. Don't need to step on the uh, on the rudder pedal. It's fine. We want to turn left, right? I wonder if uh, if engine failure in X plane would be this easy. Who knows? Probably not. Never had it. Apparently in X-Plane they've now added like some uh, some particle effects, so if your engine's on fire, you'll actually see it on fire, which is kind of cool. There we go. So this is where it starts to sort of yaw to the left a little bit. Have to put on a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of right rudder here just to keep it, just to keep it straight. There we go, nice and easy. It's literally, literally the easiest flying game ever. A 12 year old could do it. Except 12 year old me, who definitely couldn't do it. But there we go. Alrighty. Look at that. In fact, my cat has just arrived. I think my cat could fly the plane. Do you want to go? You want to have a go? Yeah. All right. Go on. Then. Yeah. Come on. Come have a go. Fly some planes. Yes. Captain Tarkas. Yeah. Come on. All right. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Get the cat to fly the plane. It'll be fun. There we go. Come here, you. Come on. Oi. No. Do you want to fly a plane? Come on. Come on, let's go fly a plane. 86. Happy days. Come here. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, there. So what you got to do, what you got to do is you got to put your throttles up. That's it. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Who's a good airline pilot? Who's a good airline pilot? Yes, you are. Yes, you are such a good airline pilot. All right. You do, you do the pedals. Yeah. You, you do you do the rudder, and where you going? Where you going? Where you going? I got you. Okay. Uh, I've got to. What do I got to do? Land, land in the. All right. Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's okay. It's fine. I know you don't like climbing. It's okay. I will do it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 150 knots or something. Yeah. Cool. Lovely. Crosswind landing time, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So, uh, flaps. <laughs> Tarquin the cat. Exactly. It's Tarquin the cat. Uh, 150 was it? 150. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Doing just fine, guys. There we go, alright, let's get this to the left a little bit here. There we are, too fast again, you see this? This this throttle is just so sensitive, it's ridiculous. Just, there we go, get down. Yeah, got this. Too slow again. A little bit low. All right, and <laughs> too fast. This is uh, when we do like the free roam mode. So it's going to be uh, it's always a challenge trying to keep the thing going at a, a certain speed. Yeah, he does. He he might get his own live show. Who knows? <laughs> he can fly a plane. Pretty sure he can fly a plane. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. 130. 
Landing is a landing. There we go. Quick doubt we made it. It's all good. Alright, there we are. Did we pass that one? Did we pass? Yeah, 91. It was terrible and the cat was flying. Not bad. Not bad there. Alright, total points. How did we do? Landing, 91, 91. There we go, 429. We qualified for co-pilot. It's fine. It's all good. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's see. There we go, just pop some initials in here. I want a J, but it's all good. There we go. We can get F. TJ fly. We can. Lovely. Let's see how we did. Game over. But where are we on the scoreboard? Seconds. Ah, oh, I've got one more point before. It's almost my high score. Almost my high score. All right. So what we'll do? We've got uh, still got a quid in the arcade machine. So let's do free roam flight mode until we until we run out of money. There we go. Flight mode. Cool. Uh, beginner. Start with beginner. There we go. Cool. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, flaps. Yeah. Now, good. Let's go. All right, takeoff time. So we've got to fly around and collect these uh, these little green things up here. So it's like a racing game when you collect the green things, you get like a time extension, and if you run out of uh, if you run out of time, it's game over. Here we go. 30, 40. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. Lovely. Cool. Positive climb. You're up. Cool. All right. Shall we go for? Let's go for this one over here. Please fly towards the time extend mark. Flying towards the time extend mark. I'm going too fast again, you see? Speed is just is just crazy. Here we go. See power down already. Power down. But if you do power down, like you slow down so quickly. There we go. <laughs> Tarquin is uh where is he? He's somewhere. He's gone somewhere. It's all good. He's happy in the corner. It's his corner. There we go. Not going stupidly fast now. Hey. All right. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab this one here. I don't know how popular this uh, this arcade game stream will be. It's not the usual. Hey. Let's go left to the next one. It's not the usual sort of flight simulator stuff. Uh, so we'll we'll see how it does. We'll see how it does for the rest of this week. We'll find out. Might even get some likes, who knows. Exactly, it is his corner to throw up in. Absolutely it is. Alright, there we go. Let's grab this one over here. I think all the little markers are at different heights. Which is kind of cool, so you have to climb and descend to get to them. Hey! Alright, let's go right. Let's go to that one on the right. All right, there we go. Ah! You lose time if you tilt the plane too much. Well, there we go. I have no idea. But I hope we get over to, uh, to this little marker down here fairly sharpish, shall we? We'll give each level one go. We'll see how far we get on each level. Put another couple of quid in there. See how far we get on beginner. See how far we get on intermediate. Ooh, ooh I can make a... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue the flight. Going to continue the flight here. It's fine. We can grab. Uh, we can grab that little green marker down there. It's all good. We can get there. 
And then once we uh, once we properly run out of time and we're nowhere near a marker, we can. Uh, that's that's when we'll make our landing. But I want to see how many of these I can pick up. Come on, thirty seconds. Let's get that. Um, it's much further away than it looks. Come back, Marker. Come back. I only want to talk to you. All right, there we go. 15, 14, 30, yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's head out to this next one then. Where is it? Where is it? High? Is it low? Nine. Ah. Oh. Think. Three, two. Ah, oh, fair enough. There we go. <laughs> so we've done uh, we've done level one. Let's see how many uh, let's see how many points we got on the scoreboard at the end of at the end of that one. Ah. Oh. We didn't make it onto the scoreboard, we suck. Okay, fine. <laughs> so we'll do uh, we'll do the intermediate, and what we'll do is when it says low time, we'll uh, we'll try and make a landing as well on this one here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, flaps. Yeah, flaps. Yeah, cool. There we are. All right, let's go. See how many we can get. We'll land this one when we start to run out of time. See if we can get them at scoreboards. It's going to be a fairly short stream today because it is an arcade game. There's, uh, there's not a vast amount to do once you've done the main game modes, but it's all good fun. It'll be something, uh, you know, not a lot of people have put this game on YouTube. Certainly, I don't think anyone has streamed it on YouTube. So hopefully, you know, hopefully people will uh, will see it as kind of a curiosity, and you know, we'll we'll pick it up. And uh, hopefully, it'll entertain people. There we go. Get. Job done. Let's drop those throttles back. <laughs> so Tarquin has knocked the uh, he has knocked the green screen over before, like on the I think it was on the stream I did in the 747. He yeah, like right at the start of the stream because I wasn't paying attention to him. He came over and just knocked the green screen over, uh, which is always fun. But yeah, he's, he's pretty good with cables. He's learned not to he's learned not to chew the cables because I just kind of scoop him up and like throw him out. So he's learned. He has learned. I'm not. Why do I need to power down? I mean, come on, man. I, like seriously, how slow do you want me to go? There we go, miss. And then then I just start to fall out of the sky. This sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster plane, faster. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him a live show one day. One day he can do a he can do a cat stream. It's all good, you know. He can do a cat stream. It's fine. Yeah, time extension. Sweet. There we go. Cool. So if you're watching this and you like it, drop us a like. Hey, P. Hello. You subscribed to me the other day. Welcome back. How you doing? So today we're. Uh, I'm going to go for this one on my left, actually. Today we are streaming uh, sort of like an arcade game flight. It's a Sega Airline Pilots game. Uh, where is that marker? Uh, it's where's your marker? Apparently I'm like right on top of it, but I can't see it. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Got it. I was right on top of it. Sweet. Okay, let's turn right. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Fine. <laughs> Got it. Uh, punished you if you tilt the plane too much. There we go. All right, let's let's turn around and we'll grab this. Uh, what do we want? It's, we've got one on the right, I think, that's fairly close to us. Looking at this display, so yeah, we'll grab this one on the right here. There we go. Happy days, happy days, guys. Uh, what do we want? Let's let's, let's let's keep going, right? Ooh, a little time left. Shall we do? Uh, let's do a landing on this one, guys. Let's do a landing. Okay. There we go. Flaps and gear are good. Got the throttle set. Okay. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can 
we can land this thing and get on the scoreboards. Who knows? We will see. Make landing on runway. Okay, that's the idea, guys. Yay. Okay, about 150 we want here. It's fine. Uh, this is Airline Pilots by Sega. This was in the arcades. Uh, it was in the arcades in the 90s. They used to have, like, uh, as I said at the start of the stream, they used to have, like, a cabinet with three monitors and a yoke and pedal setup uh, and all of that in the arcade. And flaps down. Here we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, they also did, like, a single monitor version, which is what we are emulating today. Uh, in its original resolution. So this is as close you'll get these days uh, to playing to playing this as it was in, in the arcades, you know? It's as close as you'll get. It's really good. Um, I don't know how old you are, P, but I uh, I remember playing this when, when I was a kid uh, in the arcades. I'm much better at it now. I'm an adult. Much, much better at it. So... Uh, there we go, gear down. It's not like the most realistic thing, like I was saying, um, like it feels like an Airbus fly-by-wire. Like you turn the stick and then you let go and it, it will just keep going in that direction. And it's meant to be uh, sort of a Boeing 777, I think. But if you, when the stream is done, if you pop back to the start of the stream, uh, you'll see like the intro video for it. We'll do it at the end as well, actually. But uh, yeah, the graphics for the time were really good and it had proper Japan Airlines. Uh, sponsorship and that kind of thing, which is very cool. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> just, uh, just dump it down for that one. It's all good. We had a lovely floaty landing uh, earlier on in the tutorial mode. Congratulations! Yes, am I on the scoreboard? Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Am I on the scoreboard? I want to see my name in pixelated characters. Landing success, points, flight time, yeah! Alright guys, nice, 63 points. So you only get points if you land. Damn, we picked up so many markers in the last one, but we forgot to land. Six, yeah, whatever. Can anyone read Japanese? What, what do those characters say? I guess it says like, turn stick, press button. That's, that's sort of what I'm doing, I'm turning the stick and pressing the button. There we go. Alright. See where well we're six, but whatever. Let's let's see the name on the leaderboard here. Game over. Here we go, there I am six. Ah, beaten by uh, I think that was me and fourth when I didn't know how to enter my name. Beaten by myself and some Japanese people. Turn left and right for controller and press button. Thank you very much. There we go. Cool. Alright guys, so. Uh, we'll go flight mode. We'll do one last flight. We will do... Yeah, awesome. Thank you. So we'll do expert nighttime. Do manual system. And uh, we'll do flaps gear stuff. Cool, lovely, lovely. There we are. Tower, Japan air on your frequency, ready. Alright. One last flight, guys. At least we can see the markers. Like, we can see the markers uh, against the. against the sky there. Happy days. And. Uh, rotate. rotate. Lovely. Here we go. Positive rate? Positive climb. <laughs> I think you might do a better job. Um, when we go back to proper flight sim on Wednesday, when we go back to proper flight sim, uh, I think the cat will probably do a better job than I do sometimes. I've had some interesting landings. Had some great ones, but I've also had some shockers. Uh, landed at the wrong airport a few times, you know. It happens. It happens, right? It's all good. All right, so let's uh, let's see how many of these we can pick up. We're definitely going to do. Look at this 1990s Tokyo below us. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Uh, but yeah, let's let's see how many 
let's see how many uh, little little markers we can we can pick up here, guys. And let's let's get on that scoreboard and let's beat these random Japanese people who were uh, who are up top there. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Here we are. Look at that neon, neon everywhere. So pretty, so pretty. All right, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go left. We'll go to this one on the left next. Yeah, nice and easy. Come on, we we got this. We got this, guys. We can do it. We can do this. <laughs> hey, Epic! Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing, dude? Welcome. I hope you, uh, if you just tuned in, have a have a catch up after the stream and and see uh see what we've been doing man but yeah we are we're playing airline pilots by sega we're trying to collect the markers and our boeing triple seven and we are um yeah we're trying not to run out of time at the end of at the end of this flight we get to make a landing and the better your landing is uh, the better your score is and of course the better your score is the higher up the scoreboards you go. Uh, I can see one over to the left there, but ah, oh, there it is. We'll grab this one. The low hanging, low flying fruit here. Find the buildings. Ah, ah, overspeed, but I want the. Uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. Ah, there we go. Uh, little time left. Let's land the plane, guys. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, should have been a little bit lower for that one. There we are. All right. Lands. Let's go to landing mode. Let's get this down. All right, make landing. Hey, Rose of the uh, Crashers, welcome back. I hope you are enjoying uh, Sega Airline Pilots. We'll be back to X-Plane and Airliners and that next week. But this week we are uh, this today. Sorry, we are flying. We are flying Sega Airline Pilots in the arcade. Well, not in the arcade, it's on an emulator, but you know, it's an arcade game. If you can find an arcade where they have this machine, let me know, and I'll book a plane ticket right now, and I will go there. There we go. Okay, guys. Uh, I use a joystick. I use a Thrustmaster joystick for X-Plane. Because, uh, you know, I like flying Airbus, so the, the joystick makes sense. Yeah, it's uh, it's all joystick and throttle uh, for me. So it's got like a twist rudder on it. I did try and set up some pedals uh, using like my racing game pedals, but it didn't really work. And there's too many wires everywhere. The cat would eat them. You know, it's, it's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Just the, uh, just the Thrustmaster controller and... Yeah, don't. And the throttle. There. Right, here we go. Let's not get too slow. Have I finally got the hang of uh, controlling the speed of this thing? Have we finally? Are we finally there, guys? Can we land? Can we land this properly? <laughs> I think honestly, honestly, the cat would get more subscribers faster than me. <laughs> um. Pretty sure he would get more subs faster than I do. Cause like, you know, planes is planes is quite a niche thing. But cats, everyone likes cats, right? You guys like cats? I like cats. Come on. That'll do. It's all good. We're going to get our landing points. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> We're there. We're there, guys. Amazing. Landing success. Yes. All right. 78 points. Flight time of five minutes. So where does that put me on the leaderboard? Second. All right. Let's, uh, what is it? Turn the joystick and press the button. For that is what it says. T, J and F for fly. There we are. Lovely guys. <laughs> Lovely.
Go, game over. Where are we? Where are we? Seventy-eight. Two points off the top. Two points off the top, guys. Damn. All right, all right, guys. Shall we do? So we've done like the whole game now. Um, but shall we do like one more? Shall we have a go at that beginner thing again? Shall we do the beginner mode again? Uh, see if we can actually land the plane and get on that scoreboard for the beginner mode. So we were six on intermediate, uh, like second on expert. Uh, where did we come? We were like third or something, weren't we, on the tutorial? So yeah, shall we shall we have a crack at that beginner mode again, and and try and get on the scoreboard? Let's make a landing and get on the scoreboard. I think I can get number one. Pretty sure I can get number one. Get the cat to give it a go. Exactly right. There we go. All right, guys. Let's put one more pound in the machine. Let's go flight mode. We're gonna do the beginner flight again. It's our last flight. One last flight of the day. Um, so the stream isn't too short. It is a short one, but so it isn't too short. Okay. Let's grab these green things and let's get us let's get us on this scoreboard for this uh, this beginner mode here, guys. I picked up so many. I picked up so many green things because we're all so close together on this mode. We do this. I believe. Okay, so. Here we go. One last flight. One last bonus flight, guys. For you, it's morning, is it? Where are you in the world, Mr. P? Where you are? Where are you in the world? So this is, uh, this is, you know, this is set in Japan. Go. Cool. Lovely. Fine. Yeah, we get. Yeah, good. There we are. We've already done the flaps. We're good. We're good. Lovely. You're in the US. Cool, man. Yeah, of course it is morning. Yes, of course it is morning in the US. Uh, depends which part of the US, doesn't it? But I guess somewhere between like five and eight hours behind us. So at the moment, it's about half past two in the afternoon here. So I guess for you guys, that makes it what, between like seven and ten in the morning? Uh, why am I going through a green thing that's furthest away? There's like one there and there's one there and I'm just missing them. Ah, whatever. Alright, here's the, here's the plan guys. Here's the plan. We're going to go for this one. We're going to go for, for that one over there. We're going to kind of loop back. We're going to go for, go for those. Let's get these sweet, sweet time extensions. Try not to overspeed the plane as we... Yeah, there we are. Alright, next one. If you want to download this game, guys, very much recommend it. Um, you can get a Sega Naomi emulator, an arcade emulator. I think the one I'm using is called uh, D-E-M-U-L. D and uh, obviously you can find the ROMs in uh, various places. Okay, there we go. But of course, this ROM is entirely uh, legitimate, ripped from an actual arcade machine. Honest. <laughs> it's just that, that one I've got in my basement there. Okay, uh, here we go. What we got? We got one down here. All right, let's see if we can see if we can pick this up. Uh, this game is Sega Airline Pilots. I can't read your name, but welcome to the stream. I do hope you're enjoying it. This is Sega Airline Pilots uh, from the arcade. It's a 1990s arcade game. Uh, you can look it up. If you look it up on on Wikipedia or Google it, you will find hopefully find a few screenshots of what the cabinets look like. Let's go landing, guys. Okay, one last landing. Setting the operation switch. Uh, where does it want it? Like there. It wants it like there. It's fine. We'll take that. So yeah, like I say, we'll be back to streaming X-Play next week. But today we're doing a short bonus stream uh, with Sega Airline Pilots. Remember guys, if you, uh, if you like Airline Pilots, if you like the stream, drop us a like. It's always very much appreciated. And if you'd like to see more... Um, we're going to do some more gaming content as sort of bonuses here and then. If you want to see more flights and content, uh, please drop us a subscription. That would be amazing. Thank you, guys. 
flaps down. Uh, 140 knots. We're good. We are good, guys. We got this. This reminds me of those like those space shuttle landing simulators you get on your phone, where it kind of guides you through uh, guides you through gates to a landing. Although I'm pretty sure those were inspired by this game. So, yeah, there we go. All right, here we are. This is good. We've got our speed is good, guys. We finally, we finally learning. We finally learning how to, uh, You're done. how to play this game. Getting there. I'm getting there. I think. 500. All right, five hundred. Uh, the game design, uh, yeah, it's only uh, Japan Airlines, uh, Mr. P. Yeah, it's only Japan Airlines. The Western version didn't have any sponsorship at all, so it was like Sega Airlines, I think. But yeah, the the Japanese, the original version is Japan Airlines. Uh, yeah, of course, so the game design, the game I'm currently making at the moment uh, in Unreal Engine. Uh, honestly, I haven't really done a lot since I, since, because I know some people follow me on Instagram. Um, I haven't really done a lot to it. Because uh, I've been busy working, so. Uh, why is it only Japan Airlines? Uh, I think they just paid to sponsor the game, really. Come on. Yeah! Could not ask for a better landing there, guys. Amazing. But yeah, and obviously in the Western releases, uh, they, couldn't get, they couldn't get sponsorship from an airline. So it was just sort of generic Sega Air. There we go. So guys, if you uh, obviously download your Naomi emulator, download the Airline Pilots game. Um, it's really good fun. And obviously if you do ever see one of these arcade machines out there, <laughs> not only not only send me uh, send me a picture, but uh, you should definitely, definitely play it. There we go. Third place. There we are on the scoreboards. Haven't managed to get first here. Not managed to get first here today, but uh, whatever. Ah, just want to slate the letter F, guys. There we go. <laughs> Joystick slightly sensitive uh, on the emulator. There we go. Third place. Happy days. Happy days, guys. Ah, who are we below? Below Mr. Sim and Mr. Suze. We are we're six points off. Six points off is not so bad. So, there we are guys, that is Sega Airline Pilots. Alright, so guys, I will, um, I'll try and leave the intro on for you, but that, um, I know it's been a short stream, but that will, that will do us, that will do us for today's, uh, today's stream. So if I can leave you guys to, uh, to watch the intro. As we finish up, I will see you on Wednesday. I will see you guys on Wednesday. We're going to fly some airliners in X-Plane. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for your, for your likes and so on, and your subscriptions during the week. I will see you on Wednesday. And remember, until then, guys, you can always go around. Thank you. Take care.
top down. Gear down. Roger, turn left. 